<laughs> Ooh. Would you look at that? That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Hey, what's up everybody? Max here with the Landfather YouTube channel. I've got a little surprise behind me. Let's take a little look around and see what we're working with. So everyone's heard the phrase, I love it when a plan comes together. This is the second part of the plan. This is a 2000 F350 with a 7.3 liter turbo diesel power stroke. Dually. With airbags. This is a pretty looking truck, ain't it? This is my first dually. This is my second 7.3. So there truly is no replacement for displacement. Under the hood of this bad mamma jamma is 7.3 liters of turbo diesel power. Additionally, this truck's had a little work done to it. It's got stage two injectors, a stage two turbo, a built transmission capable of handling up to 800 horsepower. It's been straight piped from the turbo back and it just makes an absolutely intoxicating noise when you step on the fun pedal. It's crew cab, Lariat. I bought this truck with 220,000 miles on it. It had been recently repainted. It might be difficult to see in the video, but the paint actually looks really nice. Um, my old F-250 Heavy Duty was a 97, so it was an OBS Ford. And I sold that truck a few years ago, and I kind of regret it every day. Not enough to go buy a new one, but I'm really happy with this choice. And you may be asking, what do you need with a truck like that? You've already got a truck. Well, not all trucks are created equal. This truck would have eaten this truck's lunch and taken its lunch money. This is a whole different ball game from a towing capacity standpoint. And I need all of that capacity to hook up to this and put what gets dropped off later today on that trailer. Let's take a look inside. This truck is remarkably clean for being 23 years old. You know, there's a little tear in the seat here, but it was, it is a Lariat trim. It's got leather, two captain's chairs. Uh, it's got a couple extra switches and that's the compressor. This is an idle control, uh, which is a real nice thing to have if you tow heavy a lot. Uh, it will keep the engine running um, 
if it, when it gets real hot until your turbos or your turbo in this case cools down and uh, it doesn't get choked up with carbon. Um, so on auxiliary j gauges, you got EGT, trans temp, and boost. And this thing, this one's fun because it corresponds to the feeling you get from into the seat of your pants when you step on the throttle for this thing. Uh, here, let's check in the back. Just a big bench. Uh, I probably need to get some sort of floor protector back here, but it has had some aftermarket speakers installed. And I believe there's that looks like a subwoofer to my eye. I believe that's an amp, or maybe that's an amp. I'm not really sure. I have never really installed any sort of extra stereo capability in any car so i'm a little ignorant to that but a little organizer rack in here that's actually probably a really handy thing you could even put a put a firearm through there that might be what it's designed for the gentleman i bought it from was even kind enough to include a few extra ratchet straps which who couldn't use a bit more of that we got eight feet of bed which if you've never had a truck with eight feet of bed on it you should give it a shot because it is a world of difference it is rhino lined, which is, and it's uh, currently a little dirty, but uh, let's see what else. A couple extra little lights on it, a little extra tie down points. Um, the one of the previous owners had installed a secondary hitch, um, but later, earlier this week, you'll notice there's no gooseneck ball in there, but uh, I went ahead and stopped by my local truck toys and ordered a, a gooseneck hitch to that'll get here in a few days and be installed and uh man i just really like this machine it's gonna it's even got some aftermarket badging on it you know international made the 7.3 which is in some people's opinion more than likely myself included to be one of the best small decent and I, when i say small like not uh it's not small but it's you know it's not like a ship's engine or something one of the best small diesel engines ever put in consumer grade pickups and a lot of commercial vehicles um, they had a knack for for just running and operating for a really long time with out uh causing you know huge problems or choking themselves to death with exhaust system problems and so we do have aftermarket shocks on all four corners uh, which is great um, aftermarket i believe that's some sort of steering ram um, you know there's some scale rust in here like you can tell but there's no rot anywhere in this truck you know being in the south is really nice to not have to worry about the bottom of older cars just falling out and uh, i like this tube grill you got running lights up there these are these are definitely later model tow mirrors uh, they stick out quite a ways i kind of need to fold them in when i keep them under this lean to over here i don't have to but it just gives me a little bit more clearance and uh here let's I'm going to go ahead and get in the cab, show you what it looks like when you're driving, and then tell you a little bit more about it. So, you know, steering wheel is nothing to write home about. Uh, I may put a cover on it, but it is in pretty good shape. I believe the cruise control doesn't work, which is something I'm going to have to figure out in the future. It does have a mild tune on it. It's got, I think it's, this is a five position chip. It's running on position number three, and it, it makes a big difference. Um, I don't even know why they make trucks without four wheel drive, but I'll never own one. Cause when you need it, you need it. This head unit doesn't work right now. I may get that replaced with something that has, you know, like a screen that flips up that has a backup camera. I'm pretty spoiled by all the cameras I have on my normal truck and it seems like it wouldn't be a terrible idea. 
There's a little center console right here. Glove box over there. Uh, let's see, this, you know, flip down. There's a little cubby in there, which I imagine is a great place to stick a few things. And uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead and start her up so you can see what the dash looks like when it starts. You've got a little weight to start over here. Isn't that just an intoxicating noise? I freaking love it. We're looking at right around 740 RPM, give or take 10. And I just, I'm really happy with it. All right, here's a shot of the engine bay. You know, I know a little bit about engines. I don't know a ton about engines, but you know, we've got an aftermarket cold air intake. We've got dual yellow top Optimus uh, for batteries. That is one of the crappy things about a diesel truck is you need such high cold cranking amps because diesel engines are so much higher in compression than gasoline that when you need new batteries, you gotta buy two and you gotta buy two good ones and it's like, I don't know, four or 500 bucks nowadays. Um, you, you can see the, uh, the turbo system over here and your down pipes way back there. And um, this is the aftermarket injector that was put on. Uh, it's a big old alternator right there. I might not be Wrangler star. I might not have dual alternators, but I got a pretty big one. Um, I thought this was neat. This is where they keep the jack tools. Um, there's a little sign on there saying, oh, jack tools may be hot. I wonder why. And, uh, you know, it's 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 20 year old truck. It's not the world's cleanest engine bay, but it's way cleaner than some of them I've seen. And obviously somebody in the past, I believe the owner I bought it from, uh, took a great deal, deal of care. and. And you know, soup this thing up a little bit. I, it, I, you can tell it does not drive like it's a stock 73. Um, it drives with a whole lot more pep in it. So now I'm gonna take kind of a little backward shot, facing me, get in, get in front of the camera a little bit, keep fighting them demons about being uncomfortable, and tell you what I named this bad mama jamma. So I decided to name this truck Rocky, which may not make any sense. I'm not a huge uh, Sylvester Stallone fan or anything like that. Um, but the new machine is named Bullwinkle. And there's a pretty good reason for that, which I'll share when it gets dropped off later. But uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, you know, that was an old school cartoon, Moose and Squirrel. So here's Rocky. He's going to be toting around Bullwinkle. I guess, I mean, I know cars and boats and planes and Everything should be named a female name, but this truck ain't a girl. I mean, look at it. It's got too much, it's got too much, uh, too much power for that. This is a man's truck. So it's gonna be named Rocky. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I just, again, I have to reiterate, I have loved doing this. It's been so much fun and uh, I'm really excited for the video I'm gonna film later today for when the new arrival gets here. Um, it's a big day for me. It feels kind of like Christmas. It feels like the, the start of something. And I am just thrilled that I believe 23 people so far are along for the ride. And come in, come on, man, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe, get that bell on. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you don't like it, it costs you nothing to unsubscribe, but it also costs you nothing too. So thanks everybody.